I got six of these for, I think, a dollar at Goodwill. And I'm thinking they'll make a nice paper roll for my painted paper box. This box was almost ready to be thrown in the trash. I used all the wax paper out of it, and I'm going, why am I spending $10? Well, I know why. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> I really do enjoy this printed tissue paper from Ranger. I enjoy using it. I think, yes, it's worth $10. But look, I have a wax paper box I was going to throw away. I have paper rolls like this that will fit in to a similar box like this. Stamp it, paint it, do whatever I want with it. Hey. <laughs> Trash to treasure. That's what we're going to work on in this video. What am I going to work on? Well, you can see this is my desktop right here. I'm not good with drop papers. Generally, I, I seem to put wax paper on my drop paper, on my cardboard, on my silicone mat, on my <laughs> cutting board. I, you know, I just, I'm not good with them. However, I have an old one underneath this one, in between this one. <laughs> Let me move this. Look at this. Ugly drop paper. <laughs> I call it ugly because, well, there's some gold in there. That's not so ugly. There's some black contrast, but it gets pretty muddy in here. So what I'm going to do, yes, I'm going to use this drop paper. This is nothing new. You see YouTube artists all the time using their drop paper for art projects. And that's what this is going to be. Actually, this is on an old foam core board that is ready for the trash, too. So what I'm going to do here, I'm going to just kind of wipe this a little, get the top dusty layer off. It's not too bad. Maybe we want to clean it a little. A very kind... Subby, when I very first started my YouTube channel, sent me happy mail. And I tell you, I'm still using out of this, and I'm just started using out of the box of happy mail that she sent me. It completely floored me. And, Lujean, if you happen to be watching, once again, thank you for your kindness. It's been a couple years, and I, I'm still floored by what you sent me. And I am starting to use it. And this is the gold block printing ink that she sent. And you can see I still have quite a bit left in here. But this dot paper does not have enough gold on it to suit me. Now I'm not going to use the block printing ink in its undiluted form because it's pretty thick. What I'm going to do, I think, is just spray some water on here. Let's just try it right here in the center. And let's get some gold going on this. page my drop paper where I put that gold on there is all dry then I coated it with a coat of PVA glue just so this block printing ink will not smear a lot there may be spots in here where I missed where a little of that gold will smear but that's okay with me what I'm going to do next is I've been putting 
my craft paint and my fine line applicators. And this bottle is just about empty, but not quite. And I like to squeeze these bottles in the middle. Take off the cap. Squeeze these bottles in the middle so that I can get to my paint and cut it. Is empty what's in here out on this piece of wax paper and mixed media morsels has got me making circles so I'm gonna put a little pattern of circles on this page <laughs> My paper is all finished. It's all dry. I am really happy with the outcome. Oh, see? <laughs> Surprise, Mary. I've got a back piece to this. This is even better. This is going to make beautiful, beautiful painted paper roll. Yay! So I'm going to trim off all the white edges here. Now, look at this. I've got a two-sided piece of painted paper to fit in my painted paper roll. And I think I'm going to just attach it to the back of this. Now, it's, I'm going to divide this in half, I believe. Let's put it back in the box. Look at this. Painted paper roll. I am very happy with this. You will be seeing me use this in my next Creative Arts Collaboration Trash to Treasure video. Put hashtag Trash to Treasure in your YouTube browser. Go out and see all the exciting videos and ways to use things that we would normally throw away. 
Thank you for watching, and I will see you on the next page.